What is the coolest website you've visited that no one knows about? Post Secret Com news secrets from anonymous strangers every Sunday. Been checking since I was 18. Send. Firefox. Komayu can send a 1GB to 2. 5GB of files, videos. Pictures. Just everything, to others just by uploading the file to this site then send a link to your recipient. You can even put a password and expiration for the file. You don't even need an account to use the service and it is totally secured. Safe. And free. J. Charles. Net slash drive used to be a guy who had set up a radio control car in his living room with a camera attached live streaming. And allowed everyone on the page two minutes to drive it via duck their computer. This was around 2008. Then one day he just took it down, sad face. Library of Babel. Too lazy to get the link. Sorry. It's a website that contains every possible combination of English characters. With a search tool to find exact matches of character combinations. Websites. Com we can solve the crime mystery cases that are left by the police as this website provides basic info about the crime. Apparently around here it's Reddit. I'm always surprised whenever I mention it to co-workers. Family. Yada yada. And no one knows what it is. Nine night installer app. Whenever you get or image a new computer this can install apps you need. I like the classic windows. Turns WIN10 into a WIN7 feel. www. Library of Babel. Info you can search for everything. Literally everything that has been said or could be said is on it. It is mind boggling. Think of a sentence and it is there. You have to check it out once at least. Not a website. But again geo guess or not a lot of people know, you are dropped randomly on Google Street View and have to guess the place. Four bears. IO it lets you look up the frequency. Rank and distribution of your first or last name in the world. Really interesting to look up different names. Headbone Zone no link because it's no longer up anywhere. It was a site for kids in the late 90s that included, among other things, Moderated chat rooms tycoon games puzzle games sand my favorite. A user-driven celebrity stock market, with stocks like Britney Spears, Melissa Joan Hart, Backstreet Boys, Ricky Martin, etc. Which due to being user-driven could be played in ways similar to the real stock market to win big of you knew what you were doing I wish it were still up for my kids. It was marketed to preteen slash adolescents but treated them like real people with entire brains which I appreciated. Photo math you can take pictures of math problems and it solves it while showing the steps on how to do it. Carried me through many homework assignments. www. Creed thoughts. Gov. www slash creed thoughts say blog by a learned man in his 70s. Well he will be 80 this November. Sitter world needs more of these. Not exactly the coolest. But I'm really impressed not that many people know about Krunker. I.O. Jazz Radio. Calm and Classical Radio. Calm are pure professional bliss. And they aren't only twin websites but also have their respective mobile apps. Not the coolest. But definitely noteworthy because of how detailed and long it's been online. Mayhem.net. It's dedicated to the work of serial killers. Cults and conspiracies. Some links lead to obscure websites. Some lead to epilepsy inducing images and loud noises. I was shown the site around 15 to 17 years ago by my older brother. The site regularly gets updated but doesn't seem to change. Yes, the site is still up and running too. Honestly it seems kinda like it's just a shock site. But the amount of information on the site seems more like the owner idealizes serial killers. I wouldn't recommend going on the site to anyone. It's genuinely weird. Hack the box. EU you can practice hacking different things once you create an account. The catch? You have to hack your way into the site to create one. So if you can't hack and make your own account you can't try the other stuff either. It's really fun but I suck at hacking so I've only been able to beat one activity lol. Backyard Ballistics. 
It was one of the first sites I found online. I learned how to build my own advanced potato delivery system. I stumbled onto a fake NBA store. Com site from an Instagram ad a long time ago and took the risk to buy three jerseys for about $100 total, very cheap for NBA slash Lakers jerseys. Two were Cobes, and after a sketchy Chinese foreign transaction fee and two weeks of no delivery, I received three perfectly authentic jerseys in the mail. The site is impossible to find now. I have a theory that a group of people stole them from the factory in China and sold them for a short period of time. www.vertex42.com This has free spreadsheets you can download for pretty much any situation you can think of. Monthly budgets. Debt payment calculators. Mortgage calculators. To-do lists. Chore charts. School schedules. Time logs. March Madness brackets. As a nerd, this is my favorite website. www.homestarrunner.com sadly no longer exists. Was taken down years ago. Had some of the most hilarious original cartoons I have ever seen. I had a hoodie with one of their characters on it. Which some tweaker stole out of my car. That hoodie was literally priceless and irreplaceable. <laughs>